Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of solutions for systems of inequalities. This is standard A.3H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 of the 2021 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to find the graph that best represents the solution set to these two inequalities right here. Very simple. x plus y is less than 1. x minus y is less than or equal to 2. Notice our solutions here. right On a and b, this positive. Notice this positive slope right here. It looks like the lines are all graphed in the same spot, but this positive slope is um, going to be a greater than or equal to. Uh, and whereas this positive slope is going to be a less than or equal to because it's shading below the line. But take a look at C and D. The positive slope here is now going to be a less than, not less than or equal to because it's a dotted line. And then now this positive slope here is going to be uh, simply a greater than because it's above the line. We could do the same thing with the other lines. They kind of flip from being a dashed dotted line to a solid line between A, B, and C, and D, and then the shading is different. So how do we solve these? We can't just look at the A, B, C, and D. Well, we need to get these into our slope-intercept form, and they don't give it to us like that. They give it to us in standard form, AX plus BY equals C, even though A and B are just one right here. So let's take each of these. Let's start with this first one, X plus Y is less than one. What I want to do is I want to translate that into my slope intercept form. If I do that, I can figure out the slope and I can figure out the y-intercept. And then obviously, instead of the equal sign, we'll just keep the inequality there. So the y is already on the left side. It's already positive. That's good. So all I need to do is subtract x from both sides. And watch what I'm going to get. y is less than negative x plus 1. All right, so now I'm on my slope-intercept form. All right, so we are looking at the positive 1, and it's got a negative positive 1 for our y-intercept. And then it's got a negative 1 slope. It just says negative x, but when there's nothing there, it's an implied 1, because 1 times x is just x. So my m equals negative 1, my y-intercept equals positive 1. All right, so that's going to be this first line right here, the one that's got the negative slope. And what do we notice about it? Well, we notice um, that it is a less than. So I'm going to need a dashed or dotted line. So I'm going to get rid of C. I'm going to get rid of D. And... We also notice that it's less than. So when it's less than, you actually shade below the line. So we actually are shading below the line here. But here on this B, we're actually shading above the line. That would be a greater than. So I'm thinking even B is wrong. Let's double check because A is looking pretty good right now. And that's just with the first one. Let's check this other one. X minus Y is less than or equal to 2. Subtract x, and you're going to get minus y less than or equal to negative x plus 2. Now, I don't want a negative y. I need a positive y. So I'm going to either divide or I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1, which is actually going to turn this into y, but it flips my inequality. y is greater than or equal to. When you multiply or divide by a negative, it flips your inequality. Then I just need to distribute this out, x minus 2. So we have an m of positive 1 and then a y-intercept of negative 2. So that's this bottom line right here. And we see, well, let's check A because we think it's that, right? Greater than or equal to, so it's a solid line. Greater than or equal to means we are actually going to shade above the line, which, yeah, that looks good right there. Uh, B is opposite, right? So B has actually got this line right here shading below the line. So B has got the correct lines in the correct spots. They're just shading the wrong area. So my answer is A.